Hello dear students. In today's class we will understand third part of an interesting play The Collectors. When the children were left in the kitchen, they found it very strange that the kitchen looked very empty. There were no plates, pots and pans. Out of suspicious, Wayne opened a cupboard and Pete opened a fridge. But the cupboard was empty and the fridge was also empty. The children came to the conclusion that the browns are crooks and the house is their hideouts. But Tracy remarked that if they were crooks, they would not allow them to their house. And Don said it's silly to think that the browns are crooks. We'll continue. Please open your textbook students. Page number 47. Mrs. Brown comes back into the room. Mrs. Brown, all right here? Good. She notices the partly open cupboard door. Oh, were you looking for something in that cupboard? Dawn, it was Wayne. He was being nosy. Mrs. Brown, I see. She closes the door, looking at Wayne. Wayne, I didn't mean any harm. We just wondered where you put your plates and things. Mrs. Brown, I would rather you didn't touch anything. We have just moved in and haven't had time to sort things out. That's why this place looks rather deserted. Pete, we only wondered. Mrs. Brown, yes. Well, would you all like a drink? Tracy, I would. Glenn, me too. Mrs. Brown, will orange juice be all right? Wayne, yes, please. Dawn, fine, thanks. The others nod. Mrs. Brown, good. And remember, please leave these cupboards alone. Wayne, we will. Pete, don't worry, Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown, hmm. She looks at the closed doors of a larger cupboard on the opposite wall. Do remember that. I'll go and get those drinks. She goes out. Carol, did you see her hand? Dawn, no, what? Carol, when she closed that cupboard door, I looked. She has seven fingers on both hands. Tracy, oh, uh, horrid. Pete, I was watching her eyes. Glenn, yes, as far as I could see, they were all one color. They didn't have any black sort of centers. Wayne, go on, she could be something weird like a vampire. Tracy, oh, shut up. Dawn, yes, shut up, you are making all this up to scare us. Pete, no, we are not. Tracy, I don't want to stay here. Wayne, I'll tell you something. The train has changed to thick fog outside. I have been watching it. Glenn, yes, you can't see anything out of that window. Carol, no, I hope it doesn't mean we are going to have to stay here all night. Tracy, stay here all night, not me. Dawn, I don't fancy that either. Let's go. Glenn, we can't just slide off. Pete, I'll go and tell Mr. Hunt and the others how we feel. He goes out. Wayne, it's all a bit mysterious. I wonder what's in that other cupboard. Dawn, leave it alone. Tracy, if she catches you, she will be mad. Wayne, she won't catch me. Please look at meanings of new words. Desert, abandon or leave. Wonder, surprise. Nod, lower and raise one's head slightly and briefly. Vampire, an imaginary creature said to be a dead person returned to life who sucks blood from people at night. Mysterious means strange. Difficult or impossible to understand, explain or identify. Moving on to the explanation. Mrs. Brown comes back into the room and notices partly opened cupboard door. Wayne said that 
he just wanted to know where they put their plates and clothes mrs brown explained that they have just moved in and they are yet to open the packs and put things in their place she also offers orange juice to the children and leaves the room warning the children not to touch the cupboards she also looked at the closed doors of a larger cupboard on the opposite wall and went out of the kitchen to get orange drinks now the children felt very strange about mrs brown carol noticed that mrs brown had seven fingers on both hands pete and glen found her eyes strange as it didn't have the pupil black sort of centers wayne thought she could be weird like vampire the children felt that it was better for them to leave the place and pete went to meet the teachers wayne was curious about the second cupboard he wanted to know what was inside that larger cupboard whether wayne will open that larger cupboard we'll find it out in the next class dear students in today's class we have understood third part of an interesting play the collectors let me ask you few questions first one what was unnatural with mrs brown's hand yes mrs brown had seven fingers on both hands second one what drink did mrs brown offer the children yes mrs brown offered an orange juice third one how did mrs brown appear to the children Mrs Brown appeared to the children something weird like a vampire I hope you all have answered correctly now i am going to end up this class bye for now thank you have a nice day